Hello everyone and welcome back to my next deck guide. Today I have a square tool deck for you. The leader ability that we'll be using is Guerrilla Tactics and the stratagem is Magic Lamp. So this deck is heavy on control. We have lots of ways to deal damage. In particular, most of that damage will come through the use of bombs because we do have Madoc in this deck. So the bombs that are synergized with Madoc. In addition to that kind of control, we also have other cards such as Becker's Dark Mirror, Brehen, Ike of Denizel, and Serpent Trap that we can go double with with Hattori. Basically, the strategy that we're looking to use here is um, in the first round, we want to play our bombs out, win through the use of Madoc and um, the Whisperers, also the Elven Scribes. And then you're simply going to pass round two. And you want a long round three with this deck because we've got so much control. We just want to control the whole entire board with all the cards that we have and go unitless kind of on our opponent. But um, before we get too much further into that, I'm going to take you guys through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it as well in a match. All right. So at the bottom here, we have two Elven Scribes. How do they work? You get to remove a counter. It's sorry. It's got a counter of three. You're removing a counter whenever you play a special card. Um, when counter reaches zero, boosts off by six. So this plays four for 10. It's a lot of great value. So the way you play Elven Scribe in our deck is um, optimally in the first round, we go ahead and you put the Elven Scribe down, down with the Whisperers before you start playing any of the bombs that start drawing Madoc out as right. And as we play the bombs, those are gonna be activating those cards abilities because the bombs are special cards. So yeah, not a bad first round card to have at all. Uh, before I move on, one last thing you could add to that is say if you played one bomb, there goes one counter because the bomb's a special card and you got two counters left, right? If you just want to make sure you get the double activation quick, you could go a Neuromancy into another bomb and, you know, that's a double special card play in one round and, you know, you can get that boost just to ensure he survives. Moving on, we've got two making a bombs. This gives our deck um, movement ability, which synergizes with Dragon's Dream, uh, which we have in this deck also. And you just get to move an enemy unit to the other row, give it bleeding four, but if it's the only unit on that row, you get to damage it by four instead. So yeah, just use these as you need to, but preferably we want to play all our bombs out in the first round with Madoc. Red Haze, it's another bomb. Choose an enemy unit, then damage one adjacent unit by its power. Um, Red Haze is nice in a movement deck because we can set units up together with our leader ability. Also, our opponent can begin to row stack um, because we've got Sabretooth Tiger. They can begin row stacking on their own because of that just to avoid additional damage. And, um, you know, it's going to come in handy as we play our cards out. Just we've got so many options, you know, with movement, even making a bomb. We've even got a unit which moves units together. So I've got a lot of different ways to stack units together, all right? Dancing Star, we get to damage an enemy unit by three. Death Blow, damage the unit to the right by one less. So, you know, with Maddox spawning Cataclysm and all this damage we're doing, even with the damage from Dragon Stream, we're bound to have our opponent's power levels down to a point where we could get this Death Blow and get some extra value out for it. The Whisperers fit very good in this deck. Uh, you know, you can imagine playing bombs and they'll be self-duplicating. Like I said, before we start playing bombs, just make sure they're down on the board first. And um, yeah, they're just gonna be uh, duplicating additional copies of themselves. Three powered units, they got Veil, which is pretty good as well. And uh, good first round card. So we've got two Moon Dust. Allows us to purify a unit and damage it by four. Nice to get through a defender because it's got the purify tag and it's just additional control in our deck. These two bombs in particular are great to have. So we've got double Northern Wind. These can come in great against um, Northern Realms mages. You know how our, when our opponent's playing mages, uh, whether it be the student that boosts or the student that damages, we see that in those mage decks, they play shiny, they draw that unit back out later on. Well, you know, you could just Northern Wind and damage it and then they don't have that option. And it can also mess with them generating uh, the condition for alumni later on. 
because we know Mage is a pretty prevalent play at the moment. So yeah, uh, first round's good, but even into a long round three, it's just good to have these kind of removal cards because we're playing unitless. So Nibelin is just to give our Dragon Stream, this card here, a bigger payoff because it's going to allow us to move three adjacent units to the other row. It could also help with getting the condition right for Brehen because we need a certain number of cards down on the board for Brehen in order for his ability to work too. But take Nivellin into the third and final round and use him on time before Dragon Stream Explosion occurs when you play it just to get a big payoff, right? Move three adjacent units to the other row. So we do have some more control in the form of a lock here. We get to lock a unit and move it. Once again, this plays into paying off for Dragon Stream. So you could just simply use him to set up a unit to be damaged more. So use this as you need to, guys. Serpent Trap. Uh, I really love playing Serpent Trap. It can be a very, very filthy play if your opponent goes first and say they use Crystal Skull or the other stratagem which, which boosts the unit by 5. If they go ahead and their first card is playing a unit and they use that on the unit, use Serpent Trap and it could already put them in a big disadvantage in the first round. Make them risk losing on even, so that's pretty good. But ultimately, over a long round 3, you can imagine it's pretty devastating just playing these out and whatever your opponent's going to play. So try to save them for a long round 3, alright? We do have Ike of Denizel. I've put this in here because... You know, when you're deck building, you want to save provisions as much as possible so you can add in a lot of great cards. And I did have Geralt of Rivia, which was, I think it was a 10 provision cost card, and it does a similar ability to this. But, you know, we save two provisions with this, and um, it gives us the same effect. Destroy an enemy unit with nine or more power. It's an order ability. But if you have a dragon in your hand, gain zeal. So we do have one dragon in this deck. So what I'd say to you guys is whenever you have um, this card in your hand, always keep it in your hand because it will make it a lot easier to ensure the condition for Ike, all right? And, um, you know, even if you don't have Ike in your hand, you could always use a Neuromancy and draw him out or maybe Matter, okay? So, but just to make him as, as consistent as possible, just keep the dragon whenever you get it in your hand. So use this as you need to. Brehan's deployability is destroy the rightmost unit on enemy row with at least 5 units. But on Adrenaline 3, it's destroy the rightmost unit on enemy row with at least 3 instead. So you could use the leader ability to set up his condition. Or naturally, um, you know, when, when we're doing Dragon Stream at that point, we're probably going to pick a row where there's a lot of units stacked together. Because we're playing Sabretooth over a long round three as well so by playing Sabretooth, our opponent naturally will stack his cards and he can just go ahead and pick something that looks good with brehan pick the best target so you know you could use it flexibly but probably better at long round three okay use this at the third and final round Becker's dark mirror we just added this in just for some extra control we are seeing a lot of boosts in this meta just allows you to um if a, if a unit's boosted, damage it by double the amount boosted. If it's damaged, boost it by double the amount damaged. We're going for the damage part. So just look for a unit which is really um, highly boosted and play this card on it. Destroy it. Atori just gives us an extra Serpent Trap. We've got no other traps in this deck. I wanted to go with something different. In the past, I've had a lot of crushing traps into these kinds of decks. But yeah, we're just testing out something different here and Double Serpent Trap can be a very filthy kind of play. So try to take a Tori into the third and final round. Matter just gives us some thinning in the deck and allows us to get a Neuromancy if we missed it. And if not a, Mir a Neuromancy, it will give us Dragon Stream. But just be careful if Madoc is in your deck because it is one of the highest provision cost cards we've got. Make sure you draw him out with a bomb first, and then you go play Mata, okay? So Mata's good to use as early as possible. First round is pretty good. Sabretooth Tiger, it's a really cool card. Um, so it's got a Zeal Order ability. Transform self into Sabretooth Tiger Stealth. At the start of your turn, damage all enemy units that are alone on their row by two. 
So we could get a lot of great value out of this card if our opponent doesn't play around it. But the nice thing Sabretooth Tiger does for us is that it encourages our opponent to row stack, as I've explained, and that's going to fall into Dragon Stream for us, help us get a bigger Dragon Stream payoff. And when it transforms, it's in the form of an artifact. So keep that in mind. Um, at the very end of a match, do not click it because it transforms into an artifact and you don't get those that seven points base power of the unit added to your point score, right? So at the very final turn, you never click Sabretooth. Say Synthesis. It's got immunity. It's going to fit with our unitless strategy. Basically, you know, this and the Tiger are going to be our main base of points over a long round three. And um, they're untouchable for, you know, to some extent, unless your opponent's got a heat wave for Tiger. But they can't really target this unless they have something else uh, which could play around that. But yeah, we're just looking to play this um, at the time when we're playing the Tiger. That's it. Long round three card, all right? Immunity ensures us some points on the board. Maddox, you never want Maddox in your hand. Whenever you play a bomb, it's going to get thinned out from deck or from graveyard. So make sure it's it's always in those two locations. And yet we're always going to have access to Maddox as long as we have bombs. And just make sure you click him first. Uh, click his auto ability first. Let him spawn Cataclysm before you play a bomb. All right, don't play a bomb and then click it. You want to draw him back out every time. And one little tip. If Maddox is, a, is on the opposite, the exact opposite side of where Dragon Stream has been spawned, don't click his Cataclysm ability because Cataclysm will then override Dragon Stream. We don't want that. So if he just happens to be on that side, you're just going to leave him there. And yeah, pretty much um, the you know the main card of our deck here is Dragon Stream. It's all about setting up the biggest Dragon Stream possible. It is a bomb, so it fits with Maddox. And uh, we get to spawn this on an enemy row for three turns. So when your opponent has three cards left, then you're going to play it on one of their rows, all right? And use your leader ability at that time. Stack all those units up on that row. Use Nivellen. Just make Dragon's Dream Pelf as big as possible. Neuromancy, just to give us access into our deck, we can use it twice. Play any card from our deck. Guerrilla Tactics allows us to move a unit to the other row. If it's an enemy, we're damaging it. But if it's an ally, we're boosting it. We're strictly trying to save this for the end of the match when we're playing Dragon's Dream. Alright guys, so that's the deck. It is heavy control, unitless theme. I hope you can enjoy it. And let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Hey Vero, what's up? It's going good. So we're going first here, are we? Oh, Zeal. Yeah. Zeal, is it? Oh, we don't want that. Probably want some more bombs. Cool. So we'll play these first. And um, to start self duplicating as we play the bombs out. Ooh. Labiota. Let's go like this. It's interesting to see Libiota. Good. Okay, well, we've got Northern Winds for these kinds of cards. But it looks like we gotta get rid of this thing, hey? So that's, uh, should be a good. Well. Purifying damage by four. We'll come around to it. 
That's a nice little point swing. <clears throat> Very good. We'll purify and kill that uh, mage next. Let's do um, this. Go like this. Let's take off for carryover. Two damage for carryover. We gotta handle this quick. Moves the shield first. Kill four on back row. Yeah, we got to We should kill this as quickly as possible. Then again, we can take this out too. What are the bombs do I have in here? I got another purify as well. Uh, we'll do this. I guess we want to kill that first, right? Yeah, great. Very good. Then metal kill form back row, the metal pings hit shield. Kill front row. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get rid of the uh the mages for sure, dude. Yep. So he's only got two and two, which is nice for us. Anyway, we play unitless um later on in the third round. That we're going for we're just going for a long round with this deck so i mean we pretty much shut down his alumni business doing that the slayer three of ten given enemy unit uh i can't see your full writing there man send, send it to me in the discord so this works really nice with the dragon that we got here. Um, it's like a cheaper version of Geralt, you know? I think Geralt's like a 10 provision cost card. This is just an 8. And uh, does a similar kind of thing. And yeah, we just want to go pretty heavy on control. Into a long third round now. And we'll just pass here. Now we've got Dragon Stream, got Tiger, Serpent Traps. Yeah, I'll check it out later, Plato. All good, man. so yeah they pretty much try to get the carryover with the mages first round and um it was good that we could purify at least get around his lebiota that way but otherwise you know northern wind is just perfect man we just really destroy those uh okay so we've got matter so matter gets us dragon stream and inura could get us tiger Maybe we keep it like that. Because Nivellin, I mean, obviously it helps us set up Dragon Stream too, doesn't it? Could come in handy. We could just Serpent Trap whatever he plays now. The Abiodo seems like an odd choice. Yeah, you think so? I think he's not that good here. I think we should go ahead with, um, let's see, probably go Sabertooth first, just to get him like, um, you know, doing the work for us with the Rose stack. 
that's the good thing with Sabretooth, you know, it encourages the opponent to roast stack, which is nice for us if we're doing some road damage with Dragon Stream. I probably should have Crushing Trap in here too, but just gonk son a bit different this time. Did you see Fushia Brief's latest SK Rain deck? Super clever, but hard to pull off. What does he use in it? He uses Fury, Itaran, gets two. Then uses... No, I haven't seen that. Wow. Libyota is kind of a do-nothing card and just eats removal most games. <laughs> That's probably what it does then, man. It's just removal bait, eh? All right. Perhaps we kill one. Use Restore on the spawn, Arnold. Wow, that's pretty epic. <clears throat> yeah, nice saber tooth value. Let's kill the other one off too. So it looks like he's trying to do, you know, some control stuff. Here as well but we're pretty toxic with our hands i think he's gonna have a hard time against us okay yep alumni what's he got it's a pretty small one so he's gone for boosting let him do his boost that's fine we actually kind of need some unit to be tall for this, don't we? Uh, perhaps we go with the... Maybe the thinning now? Let's get Dragon Stream out. We've run out of bombs other than this for Maddox. Yeah, um, Becker's Mirror, this one here. Get a 21 point. Yeah, yeah. Busher always has spice. Yeah, he does. And then do Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call him. Ah, uh, it's eight points. Come on, man. Give us something tall. No. Uh, it's just giving us some saber tooth value. We want something to go tall. Well, I could. I could hit this here, hey. Why not? And we'll just wait to see what Serpent Trap gets us. Problem with that list is trying not to do Q. Okay, here we go. Give us a 9 powered unit, man. No, he didn't. Right. Lucky we got Nivellen to give um what's it called? Dragon Stream. Ah there we go, nine power, beautiful. To give Dragon Stream um some more value. There we go guys, he's giving us our condition. Looks good to me. And um we should probably take it while it's there. So it's going to get zeal now. Yep, great. How many provisions? It's eight. Eight provisions, Beckers. Let's 
Uh, right. Uh, we could go dragon now, can't we? I think dragon's okay here. And we'll try to stack his units out back, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, it has to be dragon stream now. <laughs> Has to be. That's shielded there. We'll figure something out. I think I'll do it here. Okay. I think we should try to kill the one so he can't do that. He's gone doomed onto that. So he's boosted this by six. Pretty good Becker's target. Uh, I'd click that now, why not? It's giving us more value that way. And let's just get rid of this if he decides to do something crazy with it. And we could go nibble into some, set up something next, I think. Should be alright. If we can kill his bronze units, you'll brick any Gerhardt bit and brick any casting contest. Yeah, he was gonna go winch, you see. Um, right. Just the shield, you know? Maybe, could I have damaged that with my leader then? Maybe, I don't know. We'll see, whatever. <laughs> okay. Selkirk. Okay. So Adrenaline 3 is destroy that rightmost unit in your row with at least 3 units. So I think optimal play would be boom boom beautiful nice guys nice that was a nice victory yeah, move. Hey, we got the combo. Nice. Yes. Dragon stream. Come back around to it. If this is meditating mage, I'm out. Let's throw a draw the line. <laughs> we'll have a look, dude. Um, we should get. Well, I should get these down first before I start doing anything. Yes, that would fit perfect. Greedy alumni. Yeah, we have to kill them right away. Good thing is I got double northern wind, so it should work pretty good here. Yes. Okay. No one is born a mage. The vast majority lack even the potential.
I could use leader to kill that two powered unit and then hit a uh, serpent trap that gets it out of the way or is, is that too pricey to play like that but we really need a direct answer to that card too I think I'm doing that Yeah. Kill it with fire, by the way. How's your Saturday? Yeah, not bad, man. It's gone pretty good, pretty good. How about yourself? How's your weekend? It's actually Sunday morning here now. What the hell? Did he just bring it back? Oh my gosh. Yo, this guy's a major greedy. Uh, let me think, let me think. Wow. Okay. We move Defender with Leader, and then we kill it with this. Or I could Purify that first. Maybe I shouldn't be... I, I probably shouldn't be using my Leader like that. Yeah, let's do this. And we'll kill it with Ike next. 200 IQ move. <laughs> yes, we got this. I'm not gonna give up that easy, man. We're gonna make him work for this. Yeah, so Northern Wind will just destroy whatever he's got here. But let's click this. We have to get rid of that now. Straight up. Let's do it, guys. Nice. Get some northern wind action. Oh! Oh, you see that? Yeah. Well, where are we going like this? She bypasses Defender, 5 Harvest, 2 Bone Talisman. Oh no, it's the Yaga guy. <laughs> Vero, what's up? Okay. Thrive, Death Wish. Well, he hasn't, he hasn't used thingy on it. We could lock this. Hey, Rajneesh, what's up? Hey, B, man. Good to see you here, bro. How's life treating you? Archie Spore. Okay. Let's get our cards down. So we're getting these down first before we start playing our Maddox stuff. Because obviously specials are triggering these. So we'll do that. Have you been? Yeah, pretty well. Pretty well, thanks. Thank you for asking. Plato, poorly deploy move a unit to other row. Cooldown too? Oh, that's an interesting suggestion. Double simless. Life's good. Nice to hear, man. Happy to hear that for you. That's what we want to hear. Only happiness and good things, right? Which deck today? Um, it's a Dragon Stream deck. Maddox emphasis, kind of unitless strategy. Um, so yeah, hope you guys will like it. Red Haze. Red Haze could play big in Monsters matchups, can't it? So, what do we really want to kill here, though? Whatever we're killing, we're activating as well. OK. 
Could do this. All right. Madoc? Yeah, yeah, it is Madoc. Trying to add Mandrake to reset Bindabar. Okay. Results of five harvest. Three bone talisman. Jeez. Interesting. So there's no activation going on here. He's just leaving this. So why are we sitting Madoc first, obviously, before we play a bomb? So it works. Keep that in mind if, if you guys haven't played Madoc before. I guess I don't really want to hit these though, do I? I think we'll just kind of playing out a bit slow here. Thanks for the follow, middle. Appreciate it. Hope you'll enjoy this Dragon's Dream deck. Metal first Death Wish, not ideal. So we're giving him points if I go here though. This is like a negative point play. <laughs> uh... Basically he's going to remain, remain on the same points is it? Loses three. I think I'll just pass. It's just a bit awkward because whenever I'm killing them, I'm pretty much activating for him as well. He's got Archie Spore there. That was getting activation too. But yeah, we I mean this is hard situation when we're going into bleed. So we'll see what happens here. We really want dragon in hand for this. I might come back around to dragon stream. We do need a unit to throw two though if he passes. I don't think he'd pass, would he? KG. How'd you like my what? How'd you like forge? What forge? Yaga guide us. <laughs> hey, middle, what's up, man? Welcome. Oh, wow, he passes. I feel like we kind of gotten off easy here. This could have been really bad. Now the only question is like, what do you toss in this situation? All of these cards are good, really. I think it's going to be this. It's a bit of a waste. <laughs> Don't really want to waste this. Anyway. Alright, Plato, I'll come around to it, man. What is that knight card on the right? Oh, yeah, so um, this card synergizes with the dragon that we have in this deck. And um, when you have Dragon in your hand, he'll gain Zeal, and he can destroy an enemy unit with 9 or more power, so that's how he works. Mata gets us a Nero. Handful of bombs is pretty good. So we want the Dragon though, don't we? A Nero. Uh, I think I might pass him here then. Yeah. If I don't have Dragon in my hand, he's a bit of a suspicious play.
Let's just start with this. Yes. That would fit perfectly. Selection. Okay. Let's bait them into roast stacking with Tiger then. And then we'll get Whisper out next and start playing uh, specials. She can self-duplicate. I think dragons could use a buff. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It would be good. Um, they're not really strong at all uh, together as an archetype, are they? Heat wave. Do this then. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. Gives us Dragon Stream. And the next highest cost card would be this, right? Yeah, nine provision. Heatwave called it. Face too much monsters. <laughs> you are wise, my friend. You've got the the foresight. Just thinking, thinking uh, what's the most optimal card to go Nero for? I guess we'll look into it. He's played Foglet here. I don't know if that's the best. Opposite row for three turns would be here then. Fog here. It's not really optimal, is it? Ooh, Maruna. Yeah, great hit. Well done, well done. It's a fantastic hit. I mean, we do have an answer for that. We've got a lot of removals though, don't we? We definitely want to kill Whisperer. She could be whispering too much back there. You know, saying some nasty stuff about us. We can't let her talk like that about us, guys. Have to just kill her, right? Purify. Would we need Purify for anything else? We'll do this one first. Why don't you review my forge? Um, yeah, I can come around to it, man. It's just that I'm in the middle of a stream right now. But if you hold on, perhaps afterwards, I can come around to it. Got to go, KG. Might come back later. Yeah, sure. Vero, no worries. Deck looks interesting. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Definitely look forward to seeing you back later. Um, hunt, haunts you mean? So click this, we'll kill this. What would his next card be like Manticore probably, right? I'd have Manticore if I was playing Haunt. It's a really good way to open up with that card. Yaga agrees to such plays. <laughs> oh, he's got Goliath. Interesting. So when he gets to three cards, we have to play a Dragon Stream. Man, Red Haze could play good too, can't it? Well, he could pull out Dragon out by me killing this. On the opposite row? I'll wait for the Fog to die though then. Yeah, we'll wait for it. Alright, 
So we could just use leader and kill Goliath, even if we want. Actually, that would draw Dragon out here then, wouldn't it? On the opposite row. Okay, so I move him here, he dies. Dragon comes here. Okay. Got it. So then we can use um, a Nero maybe for Nivellen or something else. Or... <laughs> well, that's going to hit Maddock. That's okay. This is a great target uh, for this card, isn't it? Really nice target. So we'll leave Maddock to take fog damage. Adrenaline 3. Destroy the rightmost student on enemy row with at least 3 units. I think it's time for this, isn't it? Me, or you watch her die. Nice hit. Very nice. Very good, guys. Very good. And Drager. Okay, it's um, definitely this dragon stream time. Remember, we got full leader. Um, we could access Nivellin if we want with the Nero. It's looking pretty good for us, but we'll have a look. Yep. So it's sitting on six points of damage right now, Dragon Stream. What's the consume? Kill this. So, what's the best card from deck? Beckers might play good. Oh yeah, Beckers could play good. Well, not really getting much value. Hmm. We're probably going Beckers here. And could go here this here. Well, we don't really want to activate that, do we? And we'll pass. That's it. Why a dragon stream? Why not? It's a dragon stream deck, man. We got Madoc in here. It's a bomb. Fits with Madoc. That's a nice win, dude. Well, actually, Matter could pull that for us. Lock. <laughs> How the hell do I pull Maddock in my hand, man? <laughs> oh my god. That's really unlucky, dude. That's really unlucky. Have all the cards, seriously. Last draw picked.
Use minus two points a lot of time as you move what you kill. Yep. Yeah, I guess you're right. Most players would be switched on. What? What the hell? Oh, that... That was invisible for a second. I don't know what the hell happened just then. Okay. Why are these cards going invisible? What's going on? Um... Should we click this away now, just in case, for some crazy reason? Maybe wait on it. I don't know. I think he's better if you're all in movement. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> NG's next buff. Invisible removal. <laughs> yeah, have me tripping out, man. Let's do this as well. Start playing some bombs. All these invisible cards, guys. What's going on here? Even matters invisible. Oh, yes. Okay, let's do this. And... We could, we could even red haze that, that's probably decent. Then again, thinning could be good with a Nero. Yeah, we'll just do this. Maybe we use a Nero to get us meta just to thin the deck out. Is he going to leave this for us? A Nero de Janeiro as well. We got Rio de Janeiro, a Nero de Janeiro. We got everything. I uh, may search for another special just to activate that on time. Maybe we go for a, a bomb. Red Haze. Why would he not kill your spawn? Finally did. Yeah, the three powered unit. He left it there for a while for us, luckily. Out of the way, oh, he's... What's he gonna hit this? Right. Duncan! Oh, Vigo. It's gonna be another <laughs> another duo situation. Oh, we gotta pass, man. There's no way we're we're pushing on here, is there? Looks too suspicious to me, guys. Win on even incoming. <laughs> man, we just got out of it by a point, hey. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Points, points. We need points. Good pass, yeah. I'd say so. So yeah, here comes the weakness of our deck, you know. We lose round control. They're playing to round two. Seems to be the hard part for us.
Fox. I will come around to that. Some bombs. Let's do this. Yeah, he'll play in. Well, if he hits Yoakim or something like that, we could get a good Serpent Trap. But we really want to pass. Just long round three. Wow, we actually got it. Surprised. Very surprised. Better for us. Okay, well... He'd just lock this, wouldn't he? If I played this into the next round. He's got leader. I think we're just putting this out here. Okay, nice. So we could look for Mata. Um, to get Dragon Stream. Look for this card here. Try Serpent Trap. Just go toxic as possible now. Pretty much. I think I push an NG, but that's because I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Well, it depends on your opponent's cards, what you're seeing they're playing, right? Like you said, man. You gotta kind of go off that. Another bomb. Okay. Another bomb again. Well, we want to start funneling our opponent into the same row, right? So, as I explained earlier, just go ahead and start with Sabretooth for that reason. And we just, you know, play traps out, play whatever else we got. Yeah, I see tactics and I think bleed more. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Exactly, man. I play like that too. I see any off metal leader and I think bleed. <laughs> Okay, might as well go ahead and kill this. Good, we're just going to go unitless on them now, pretty much. Okay, we can kill that too with a bomb. It's alright. And we'll hit it with... Might as well go this. Nice. Good. If you have a dragon in your hand, gain zeal. So we could still play this with a Nero. If we wanted. We really wanted we could still play it with a Nero. We'll see what he comes up with. Um, you know, like we're discussing Brehan. I feel he could be a bit awkward in these situations, like we're doing heavy removal, we're killing a lot a lot of cards out. And you know, he needs a few cards to do his thing. That could be a bit of a thing with him too. But anyhow. Play on. Yeah, we could play Dragon here, okay. Brehan, 8 provision. Which is just thinking it. He's 8 provisions. I mean, he's okay, man, for 8 provisions, 40 does. Beckers, yeah, I've got Beckers too. He took a uh, Maddox, did he? He took a one-powered Maddox. Epic. <laughs> yeah, I think he's really annoyed then. Um... <laughs> we seem to have upset our opponent. Oh, play talk John with a raid. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. 
Looking forward to um, catching you on the ladder again for a random match when I'm off stream. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, let's go ahead and... Hit this. There I am again. Where? Yeah, I'm not playing that dragon, man. I'm playing other ones. Two less. Well, it seems to be okay. Thanks very much for the follow, Mr. Beat Soda. Wow. Welcome, Raiders. Legends. Ooh, very good. Getting some good saber tooth value here, guys. Uh, but we don't have, we don't really have enough units for Brehan, it would seem. Hopefully that changes. And what about Beckers? Could just be this. So he's got Terra Nova. Does he? He's still copying. Hey there, is this ST unitless? Um, kind of, yeah, I guess you could call that. It's a Maddock deck, and uh, we're playing Dragon Stream. First round, you know, you can play Elven Scribe, you can play the Whisperers, and play your bombs out, and then into this round. We've got some traps, like Serpent Trap with Hattori, um, Beckers, and, you know, we've got units like Brehen. Yeah, I guess you could kind of call it unitless. I'd say so. Hi, Mr. Dragon's Dream. Hi, Forrest. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's a pretty good kill, isn't it? <laughs> There's not going to be any units to set up Dragon's Dream for. Oh my gosh, we're just cleaning everything up. Dragon Stream, Beckers, Tall Punish Bombs is the weirdest thing I've seen, to be honest. Oh, happy to show you something different. It's cool. Okay, he's got that. Well, um... He can spawn as many as he wants, but Dragon Stream will kill him. So maybe I don't really care about that. Do I? And it could give Brehan, uh, well, yeah, maybe it gives Brehan value too. Controlling his board while having tall and white punish. I drop Dream and Brehan, but I'm not spicy. Well, it's time to spice things up, man. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna wait till he's on three, and then play this. Okay. So it's got to be Dragon Stream next. <laughs> you need Bruva just because my hat <laughs> <laughs> Just for the sake of it. Oh my goodness. No, I'm not going to do it just for the sake of it, alright? I know you love your dwarves. I do too, man. I should come back around to them though. Yeah, he's roast stacking for us. Nice. Oh, that was smart. So, him playing a bomb pulled out the Maddox. This is going to be pretty good Dragon Stream value, isn't it? Yep, so we're hitting it now. This is going to be great. Perfect. Perfect sets of three. Nice. Just let loose. Three live. 
That's a suggestion. It'd be interesting to see eight put together an NG Viper Witch's deck. I, n I never really play that card. I could look into it for you if you like. So that's gonna be uh, uh, what target would that be? Plays matter. Looks like we got some good setups now. Wait, I probably shouldn't have done that, right? Wait, we're killing those anyway. Maybe I should have hit something else. I probably should have hit this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I could have done a better play there. Because those die anyway. Dark Mirror? Yeah, it wasn't worth. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right, man. Because these end up dying anyway. Um, okay. So, what do we want to hit? We want to put them back there, don't we? And... We'll go this just to be consistent. I think we're good like that. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, nice. Yes. Mage now. Hey guys, sorry I'm late to the party. Hey, what's up, Rutabaga? Welcome, welcome, man. Brathens, yes. Oh, Emissary. Yeah, sure. Good mirror target. Uh, we'll place for more actually. Yeah, I guess we're killing front, right? It's the best play, isn't it? And two points left. Cause damage. And yeah, just don't click Sabretooth on the end either. Obviously we lose points then. So yeah, that's it. Nice. Bribery? Probably gets Dragon. Easy game. Oh, nice guys. We got that in the bag, man. Wow, that was beautiful. Very nice indeed.